13 of November 2017. This is a male one year dwarf hamster who came in on the 10th of November for a lump, lump <clears throat> infected on its right flank. Okay. Now, the hamster was operated yesterday about, about 17, 17 hours ago. Now I'm doing a post op video. Now, the, the pre op video was already done. And you can see the lump was, was a big lump from the elbow, right elbow, to the side there, the flank. Now, since this hamster is very unhappy with uh, being handled, so I'll use a cup. So this is about 19 hours post-op and the hamster is uh, alive. And that's what matters to the owner. Now, as you can see, I'm just checking it here. Now I'll weigh the hamster. So I'll just weigh together the cup, maybe, okay? We see the total weight 64, right? 64. So I minus the weight of the cup. So uh, minus 8, so it should be 56 grams. 56 grams. Now, since the hamster is so, so unhappy about being handled, so I will just talk about this case in the cup. Now this hamster, according to the owner, the parents had lumps on the body and went to two separate vets and after operation, the hamster died. So she didn't want the hamster to be operated when it came in about uh, two weeks ago. So after that, the hamster lump become bigger. As you can see, it's really spread. It's really, uh, it's really, if you see from the video, the, the stitches, it's really uh, quite a long, along the whole length of the, whole length of the body, from the elbow to, I would say, to, towards the, near to the knee, near to the knee, and there's a long cut. Now, how does the, hands, the wound look like? It will be, it, what, it will be shown in the first video, and, and this wound is really, as you can see, very dirty and smelly. When I open up this, I, I cannot even stand the smell because it's a rotten, rotten flesh smell, and uh, you can nearly vomit when you, when you smell it. Now, the, the, the thing is that don't leave the wound and the, the tumor to be so large and then get infected to operate. Now, I'll see what's the weight. So first of all, I weigh this first, empty one, roughly is 13 grams. So then I, I, I weigh the one with the tumor. So 22, so roughly is about 9 grams. 9 grams of tumor out of uh, 56 grams of body weight, which is roughly, I would say, nearly 10%, no, 20%. Because the hamster is 56 grams now, post-op, no? Post-op 56 grams. So this one is 9 grams. So 9 grams of a tumor which is infected and smelly. Once I open up, you can smell it actually, but the, you can see the tumor is really bad. The infected one, and there's, a, there's another part of it as well. And the sting is bad. So I switch on the fan. I switch on the fan and then uh, and, uh, get the smell off it. Okay, so the, the, the moral of this story is that that uh, the owner might have to find a vet, a vet who can, uh, who has uh, some cases of uh, anesthetic to operate. We don't really know why the, the, the parents of this hamster died after lung removal because we don't know what actually is the, the story. We only know that the owner didn't want the, the tumor to be operated when she came and see me in uh, about about uh, two weeks ago and uh, then after that now she decided on surgery but even then she wanted it to be fast so I had to let the hamster be given given uh, beta antibiotics at least two or three days because uh, we cannot operate a wound which is infected, I mean a tumour which is barely infected and stinking.
otherwise you can see that after maybe three or four days these uh, stitches will break down these stitches will break down and uh, and uh, there will be a big smelly hole inside the flank from the elbow down to the to the to the thigh I would say now this this is only day one day two you can see the stitches are done by Dr. Daniel and uh, the wound is not so badly infected or inflamed but uh, we won't know till about uh, seven days if within seven days the, the, the wound closes the hamster should be okay and uh, alive and alive as well so in conclusion never wait till the wound becomes septic and infected to decide on surgery the risks are always there so it's possible that you may have to look for a vet who does hamster surgery and uh, for big ones especially these the cases the, the, the chances of survival are, are slimmer because it takes a longer time to operate an anesthetic dose is uh, increased in the sense that it takes time to remove such a big tumor where is a small tumor less than five millimeter diameter you can do it in five uh, maybe five minutes but this one definitely you can't take five minutes to remove and stitch and you can see that the smell is really rotten this this is really bad the smell is really a dead 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 body smell Okay, finish.